Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. And in this segment, I'm going to be going over how to conduct an odds ratio analysis within the context of complex samples. Now, when you're thinking of complex samples, this is not necessarily applied in all data sets. However, within the NHANES data set, this is something that is needed. So what I'm going to show you is, first of all, how to actually conduct a complex samples um, regression analysis. Then I'll go over specifically how to um, provide um, the reference category, um, which is very important. However, many students that are looking at this um, initially have uh, a lot of confusion over it. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, when you're looking at the menu option, um, you go into analyze and then um, in other videos, I've actually described this in much further detail. Um, so under um, Analyze, you go all the way down. Now let me show you the difference. Um, regression is over here midway down, and you can conduct a binary logistic regression. However, um, we need to conduct a complex samples logistic regression. So you go down again to complex samples and then logistic regression. So then you have a menu where the plan is, um, you have to enter the plan. Um, so here is, um, you can kind of browse, um, and one that I had um, already created was um, this CSA plan. Um, how to create a CSA plan is beyond the scope of this talk. However, um, in order to um, see this, you can actually refer to another video. Um, so I'm going to click on open. So once you open, then you select continue. Um, and then in continue, uh, you want to take a look at the relationship between uh, two variables. Now the way I'm going to um, put this is um, I'm going to, I've cleaned um, some of the variables. Um, and so for instance, um, you can ask the question, um, does marital status have an association with uh, uh, mil military service? Um, so marital status then goes um, into the factors um, and, and then military service goes into the dependent variable. Now you want to select your reference category. Um, and within the context of this, um, zero is actually no and one is yes. Um, this is the simplest way to um, clean this data. Um, so highest value um, is uh, the, not the reference category. The lowest value, zero, is the reference category. So select continue. Um, and then look at the um, reference category in marital. So in order to do so, you go into statistics. Um, actually, uh, you go into odds ratios and in there uh, you have marital status and again you have to make sure you change the reference category to one that makes sense to your data set. So in this case um, marital status um, married was actually the um, or um, living together was actually the reference category. So when coding um, I um, used marital status as zero and then um, divorce separated as one. Um, that's There's a lesson here. Um, if you want to understand um, what the reference is, you want to make sure you're coding it in certain such a way that you your reference category actually makes sense within the model. Um, so here's marital status, um, highest value, and um, you want to change that reference category to lowest value because remember I told you that zero is the lowest value. So select continue and then um, the model is ready to be run. Select OK. And um, in your output uh, page you should be able to see uh, multiple things. First of all, um, while the population size um, is a number, is a certain number, um, the population that is being that that um, is total is seventy two thousand 
87. Now, what is it representative of with, within the United States population is uh, 218,447,299. Um, so this is a, a huge um, segment of the population. Um, so when you're going in and taking a look further at um, what the various types of um, odds ratios are, you go down all the way to odds ratio and take a look. Now, um, this is quite self-explanatory. Uh, one versus zero is the marital status. Um, so, in fact, what this is showing is that uh, when a person is um, married, they're more likely to uh, join the military. Um, so I, what I would do if I were you, um, I would run this one more time um, and then take a look. So let's go into um, analyze um, because it seems that the reference category would make sense um, when the marital status is uh, uh, divorced. So let's go into uh, complex samples again. Um, let's go into complex samples again um, and then go into logistic regression. And then um, under that logistic regression, um, you select continue with the CSA plan. Um, and then let's change the odds ratio and see how that changes things. So marital status, let's make the reference category the highest value. Um, and as you can see, you have to make adjustments to your main model um, depending on the type of odds ratio that appears. So then select continue. And then select OK. So now you know that um, marital status um, in some ways are associated with um, military status. So let's take a look at the odds ratio and now that makes sense. Um, so individuals, um, this shows that individuals um, uh, that are in fact uh, married or um, living together are more likely to join and, and be um, in the military um, or also be military veterans. Um, so the odds ratio is 1.64 um, and then the lower confidence interval is 1.46 and the upper confidence interval is 1.84. Um, so now um, this makes sense um, and then um, you can include other variables within the analysis and um, see how that makes sense. Sometimes what you need to do is um, enter the variable and then go back to Anne Haynes and the code book and see um, what that means, what each of the um, categories mean within the context of the variable. So th uh, there you have it. This is um, a talk on um, complex samples, uh, um, logistic regression, and the corresponding odds ratio that is derived from that. I hope this makes sense. Thank you for listening.